car has been running for about 20 minutes, just warming up the oil. It's gonna pop the hood, nice and warm. Oh yeah, I can, I can feel the heat coming off this. Okay, gonna grab a 19 mil socket. There's the oil filter down there, mobile one. He's put some kilometers on this car or some miles if you're in the States. I won't tell you how many, but we've gone over a little bit. So probably the worst place. Let's leave the key in there. It's a good spot. And let's grab my sockets and stuff. We're gonna jack up the driver's side of the car because the drain plug on the oil pan is on the passenger side. So if you have the car up on an angle, it'll drain a little better. So let me get this jacked up and uh, we'll go from there. Okay. I've got the e-brake on. Let's get the behind the back tire. Shove that in. Can we get to the drain pan, it's right there. I think we can get to it. Okay, these don't usually work on uh, RXH. Can't get in there to get the filter off. I do need a drain pan though. So I'm just gonna take a razor blade. Lose that and uh, cut this jug in half. Where'd that go? Okay. I popped that 19 mil, it's draining into two little old oil jugs. Gotta pop this puppy off, open this for some extra. Holy ramity jamity. Okay, take the oil cap off, then we gotta get to that oil filter right in there and take that puppy off. Now, in all fairness, this oil filter should be just a little bit over hand tight. I managed to crack it loose, making sure my hands were dry and grippy. So we'll take this puppy out, spill a bunch everywhere, all over the place. Just dump it. Okay, and here we go. Anything with a 6607 will do. Oh, it's hard to do with one hand in a snowstorm. We're gonna take out the filter. Just we're gonna get a little oil on our finger and wet this rubber seal right here because when you twist this on and it starts to get tight, if you're hand turning it and this is dry, this, this can actually tear or pull out from the filter and then you've got leaks and all that stuff. So we're gonna wet this and thread it on. Hopefully you can see to right there. Okay, my finger is wet. Just wiping around here. Unfortunately, you can't fill this filter with oil. Sometimes you can get away with doing that. Um, but this filter actually goes on upside down. So if you even attempt to do it, you're going to dump oil everywhere. In here, without getting stuff all over this filter. Make sure you get this hand tight, but tight. Okay, there we go. It's on there. That's not the oil I'm using, by the way. But there we go. We got one more jug here. Yeah. Stuff looks pretty dark. Here we go. Now, oh, laying in the snow. Getting some paper towel. I'm gonna go get another, these crush washers on here. It's a co copper crush washer. I've got a whole box of those. It's usually good to, replace them uh, every time I mean if it's not super damaged and you don't have another one you'll get away with it just check for leaks every once in a while that's tricky I'm getting it though okay now if you don't have a 19 mil three quarter will work now I'm gonna get this on there it's a fresh one. You don't want to over tighten it. And that should do. And without spilling, we go to town. Uh, 
One other thing that's good to do is if you dump the oil too quickly, it'll come up this spout and it can come through this tube and then dump into your throttle body. So it's good just to disconnect that four quarts into this and then go from there. thing in the well, something to check for in the winter your dipstick sometimes you can pull it out and it'll be a little creamy at the top and you'll think uh oh coolant seals um, but that's not always the case they do build up moisture especially in the winter time and especially if this rubber seal on your oil fill cap is non-existent or cracked or ripped or whatever moisture gets in sits at the top works its way up the dipstick so just a couple of things to check for we got a little ways to go but i'm going to lower the car so that it's level and then we can we can rock from there dump a little bit more in there let it go down it's like that we're pretty good to go here i think this will go in the trunk back on here plug this back on there this plugs into these little white plastic doodads and you pop it down. Here we go. Like that. Double, triple check, no tools left on the front here. And close. And oil is changed. So that's it. snowstorm in January on an RX-8.